Roger, looks like you are manning the inbox. What's trending? We're getting a lot of tweets on fertilizer and how to apply it. All right. Well, the first thing you need to do is get a soil test done because that's going to tell you exactly what nutrients you need to add to the soil to make everything grow properly. The first thing I need is a guide in the aisle of all this stuff because there are so many different things out there. I don't know what to buy. Okay, there's three major nutrients we want to be concerned with right away. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So everyone's got some sort of mix of those three? That's right. Now, if you look in this bag here, it says 32010. There's a couple things. This means it's 32% nitrogen. Okay. All right? And that's a lot of nitrogen. You would use this bag on a lawn to really push green growth and make the lawn grow quickly. And 0% phosphorus yeah. and 10% potassium? Yep. And you can actually see it on the other bags. I said the first time I ever recognized this 15 30 15 and you see the difference here it's lower in nitrogen it's higher in potassium and it's higher in phosphorus now phosphorus is going to help with chemical reactions the potassium that's going to make the roots grow and give you flowers so that's a great ratio for flowering plants all right but none of these add up to a hundred percent that's 42 that's what is that 60 where's the where the, where's the rest of it well the rest in the bag is called ballast or filler and ah. it's just a volume that helps you spread the material okay so you'd have to spread the solid stuff yep. but there are liquids out there as well stuff that you pour yep. on stuff that you attach to the hose do you prefer one versus the other um, I have a use for both of them. What I do is I use this when I'm doing planters or something I think needs a quick boost. I'll, mm. I'll mix it up and pour it on. If I'm planting a window box, I'll use that initially and then I'll follow it up with a product like this, which is a slow release fertilizer. So now I'm fertilizing the window box all through the season. So generally speaking, the liquids act faster yes. and the solids are more slow release. Right. Now you can use a liquid in a holder like this to do the lawns. You can go spray a lawn or you can even spray a plant. They have dials on the side to make sure you won't burn it. You have to be very careful with all these products as when you put it down, follow the instructions on the bag. Yeah, I don't want to burn anything out. So I notice here you've got organic. I'm assuming over here we've got sort of synthetic and these are the organic That's versions? right. And these are a much lower content than those are with NPK. This is like 343, I believe, on this Looking one, 434. Right four. So those are way low percentages, and that's just given because of the organic nature right. of this. When you make organic material, you can't get a big volume of nitrogen in. So this is a great product for a slow release in trees and shrubs. It'll work really well. Great information, Roger. Thank you.